today's topic is Hamiltonian cycle with backtracking. Now first I will tell you what is Hamiltonian cycle. We have two graphs, graph A and graph B. In graph A there are 8 number of the nodes and in graph B we have 5 number of the nodes. Hamilton cycle is simply travel of a graph. In a graph we travel from a given node and return to that node without visiting all the nodes twice, uh, more than one. Then it is a Hamilton cycle. If you start a node and visit all the nodes exactly once and return on the start node then this is the Hamilton cycle. So in a graph A we have Hamilton cycle and in graph V we don't have any Hamilton cycle. In graph A we start a tour from node 1 we can go from 1 to 2 then to 2 8 8 to 7 7 to 6 6 to 5 5 to 4 4 to 3 and 3 to 1 we start from 1 and return on 1 exactly visited each node once so it is a Hamilton <coughs> cycle but in graph B when we start from any node we cannot return that node only visited each node exactly one suppose we have a start from node one then two it will go on three then from three we cannot come on node four or five directly we have to visit this node two twice so here is no hammer checking is presented in graph b how can we solve this Hamilton cycle problem no. uh, we use the backtracking to solve this Hamilton problem Hamilton cycle problem okay for graph a we design a Hamilton uh, cycle with backtracking okay now we start from node 1 there are the two way uh, basically three way from node 1 of traveling node 1 to 2 uh, node 1 to 7 and node 1 to 3 if you come from node 1 to 2 then 2 to 3 or 2 to 8 if you come on from 2 to 3 then from 3 you have some options you come on node 4 you come on node 6 and you can also come on node 3 to 1 but if you return from 3 to 1 then this in this path we will travel only node 1 2 and 3 so it is not an Hamilton cycle uh, as we know that for the Hamilton cycle we start at 2 from a starting node and we should travel all the nodes exactly once and return on the starting node so this is the uh, Hamilton cycle uh, now <coughs> uh, come on the points if we come on 3 then from 3 we can come on node 4 and node 6 if we come on node 4 then uh, from node uh, 4 we can come on node 5 and then node 5 to node 6 then node 6 to node 7 and node 7 to node 1 if we return from node 7 to node 1 then node 8 is uncovered it is not visited yet so it cannot be a Hamilton cycle if from node 7 we come on node 8 then from 8 we cannot come on node 1 so it is a dead node now we have to backtrack if we backtrack on 7 there is no other way to come on 7 if we come on node 6 then there is no other way so we come on node 5 there is no other way we come on node uh, 4 then there is no other way we come on node 3 then there is no other way if we come on node 6 then node the other two ways first we have to come on 7 7 to 8 it is dead node 7 because we come on 7 to and then for all <coughs> no other node okay yeah. now we can backtrack on 7 from 7 to become on 1 then it is uh, uncovered node 4 5 6 7 and that are uncovered so it cannot be a Hamilton cycle uh, like this uh, we can uh, again and again backtrack now we come on node uh, backtrack to 2 uh, then 1 to 2 2 to 8 8 to 7 then 7 to 6 6 to 5 5 to 4 4 to 3 and 3 to 1 this is a Hamiltonian 
cycle okay in this way we can find hamilton cycle otherwise you have to backtrack on the previous node and you find the other so, uh, other path from that node thank you for listening this